Hello, thanks for stopping by today. If you are interested in the supplies and measurements for today's card, there is a link in the information section below to the blog post with all the information. Here's the card we're going to make today. So let's pull in our measurements and get started. All right, the first thing you need um, is a terracotta tile base and it's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a fourth. And we're going to take and fold it and use our bone folder for a crisp fold. Using a piece of pear pizzazz and the painted labels dies and the die from it for the leaf, you're going to cut out three leaves. Then use your Whisper White and your Daisy Lane stamp set and the coordinating punch and punch out three of the um, daisies. And then to give your daisy some movement, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna curl two of the, two daisies with the petals going down and one daisy with the petal going up. And then we're gonna put this together with glue dots. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on the back of this one, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to center it, but I'm gonna offset the petals, but there's still a little bit of space, and that space will be filled in by the one with the petals that curl up. So I'm gonna put that down here, like so, and I have it. Then the next thing we have to do is we have to get our paper ready. And to add some interest for this, this is the Ornate Garden DSP and it's two and three fourths by two and three fourths. I'm going to stick this into the corner rounder side and I'm going to corner round the opposite sides on all three. Um, just to give it a little bit of interest. All right, and one more side. Okay. All right, to get this spaced evenly, I'm gonna take, I've already put the sticky on my, the backs, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to figure out my center, so one, two, three, four, five. So there's the center in the middle of here. And I'm gonna put that right about there. And then this one I'm gonna put up here because there's just a tiny edge. And this one I'm gonna put down here and that works. So I'm kinda, yours would lay better. I put it down, I had to rethink about this. So I'm going to start with this first one and I'm going to pull it down just slightly. And I'm gonna stick that down, okay? I'm kinda using this line as a guideline too. Then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put, move this out of the way this one down here and again I'm using just a tiny bit of spacing and then I'm going to do the middle one and I'm going to put that one down like so. Now I will go back and add some glue there since I had to reconfigure this. All right so I've got my card put together. Now it's time to add our ring. And this is a gold ring from um, the catalog. And to put that down, what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna take some glue and I'm just gonna add some dots around the edge of the glue. And 
I've got some on my mat that I want to get off. And then I'm just going to put that down on here like so. And while I'm doing my bow, I'm going to put a um, block on top to hold it in place. So then I'm going to take my metallic, the silver metallic edged ribbon, and I'm going to tie a bow. I'm not going to make it a big bow. It's going to be a small bow. All right. I'm going to use my ribbon scissors. Make sure you use ribbon scissors. You'll dull your scissors if you use your paper ones to cut ribbon. Always have a pair designated just for ribbon. All right. Then I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to look and see which side I like better. Um, I like this one. There's a spot in the ribbon there that I don't particularly care for. And I'm going to put a glue dot on each side of the knot. So I've got one there and one there. And I'm going to add my ribbon and that'll help hold that um, ring in place also. And now I need to add my dimensionals. So I'm going to take, oops, before I put my dimensionals on, I got to add my, I got them stuck to my finger. So I'm going to add my leaves real quick. And there it is. I was going to say, where did the other one go? All right. So I'm going to add I have stuff stuck to me everywhere. So I've got that one. And then I'm going to put this one up here. Oop, the glue dot didn't come off. Oh, it's on my finger. All right. Did you ever have one of those days? Well, obviously it's a day for me. All right, let me get this last leaf off like so and then I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to put that one has the back of the other one stuck to it oh it's gone I'm not going to worry about it so I'm going to put one there and then I'm going to put another one here and I need my pokey tool because this one still has the back so I'm taking my back off and this goes on my card like so. And then to finish it off, I'm going to put a um, gold glitter dot in the center just because I like my bling like so. And there we have it. And don't forget to do the inside and the envelope. If you have enjoyed today's video, would you please give it a thumbs up, which is a like on YouTube. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Click the button below. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you have not signed up for my newsletter, there's a button to the blog in there so that you can sign um, below in the information section. Make sure you sign up. I share lots of ideas including free tutorials. Thanks for stopping by and I hope I inspired you with today's creation. Have a great day.